Hey, I'm Colin, and today I'm going to make my friends try some weird whiskeys. So thank you all for being <laughs> my guinea pigs with me. I I kept seeing like all these different flavors of whiskey pop up at the store, and I was like, that sounds super weird. And then I was like, I would never try that because I don't want to spend the money. And then I was like, I can make a video out of it, and then I can make these guys help me. So now I don't have to be the only one subject to it. So by the way, this is Charles and Nate some buddies we like to sit around the fire and drink whiskey that's usually good so today's a change out yeah yeah <laughs> we're not outside and the whiskey's the whiskey it could be good could be it i don't could, know good is an operative for sure yeah well so this one you'll notice is mostly gone this is one my wife really likes it's peanut butter whiskey oh, oh. <laughs> and so i she keeps trying to give me a try and i was like no that sounds horrific <laughs> i don't want to do it Sure. So we'll all have to just take a little tiny bit, and then yeah. we're going to have to replace her bottle. Am yeah. I going to throw this off because I've, I've drank that before? You have? I have. Oh, do you like it? I do. Oh, interesting. So I'll give yeah. you more because, I don't know, I'm terrified. <laughs> and this is salty watermelon whiskey. Like, uh -huh. what? Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. Like, I've heard of people putting, like, apples in whiskey and things like that. So maybe, like, that fruit thing, yeah, it's maybe. a thing. It's yeah, but I feel like watermelon and apple are... Two very different fruits. Fair. It's yeah. Tennessee Mountain made. So. Oh, so this is by Old Smoky, which they do moonshine. And I've been there and I tried all their moonshines one time, having not eaten lunch. And you want to eat lunch before you go try a bunch of moonshine. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Sounds yeah. reasonable. Then we've got a pecan roasted flavored. That might be good. That might be good. Yeah, that sounds that's reasonable. probably That's the best one sounding so far. And then... <laughs> Off of that note, we've got intense mint whiskey. Oh, that's. And I did crack this one, and it just straight up smells like Listerine. Oh, cool. Great. Pretty good. Let me just get a whiff of that. We'll start with mouthwash. Excellent. That's what we like. All right, now it's, it's time to head home. Whiskey. Yeah, maybe we should do that at the end to freshen up so you don't yeah. smell like whiskey. Yeah. We'll, we'll end with that. Sure. <laughs> I bet you it's going to be intense also so maybe we should do that one more it is i don't know i feel like intense is a is a strong claim all right let's just start with peanut butter since chuck's already had it all and right. we'll save the suspense Absolutely. for everything else all right let's give this one a shot we're gonna do a small pour for me and nate yeah. here this is either gonna be like surprisingly okay or like really bad and we have no spit bucket, so you just have to suck it up and finish it. <laughs> this is what, you're not like sponsored by them, right? Like, if I say this is terrible, I'm not going to get like. I'm not sponsored. Or There's no affiliate links. I paid for all of these, unfortunately. And this is Screwball. Is that yeah. what the brand is? Screwball peanut butter whiskey. And I don't know where they're out of. But yeah, uh, there's a couple people making peanut butter whiskeys now, but Screwball is the one thing. that my wife buys the Screwball. So oh, well, cheers. cheers. It tastes more like caramel. It tastes like peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's pretty heavy on the peanut butter. It it's is. It's a sweet flavor, though. Like, I could definitely... <laughs> yeah, it's like a candy peanut butter. It's not yeah. like a peanut butter peanut yeah, butter. Yeah, this is like Reese's peanut butter. Oh, yeah. yeah. That That's driving. Like oh, Reese's Pieces. Yeah, right. <laughs> what a generic brand of Reese's is. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can mention these brands. None of them are paying me. So maybe they'll be like, oh, we'll yeah, sponsor actually, you. Actually, it's just like Reese's. What like if they made Reese's whiskey? Oh, no, that would probably be better than this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not like this? It's okay. I, uh, it's way too sweet. I'm trying yeah. to think what... I had this with... Uh, banana cream pie mm. and it, it okay. that was a pretty good dessert combo honestly yeah. if you poured this over like bananas foster or something too that, that would be, be good. good yeah that would probably be good yeah yeah i think you need to eat something with it maybe that's all of these too because they're so heavily flavored yeah they're might be sweeter and so they might be more of like a dessert thing yeah right. well, that's a good thing you brought out the gardettos yes <laughs> Palette cleanser. Definitely not like a, a sipping wine. Or sipping wine? Sipping. It does have legs. I don't know if you've noticed. It's got beautiful legs. Here. Oh, legs that. for days, baby. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. The only thing I did bring is I have a little bit of water that we can dump. We oh, can cleanse our glasses. Sure. Excellent. So here. I'll get the bucket over here. Excellent. The bucket? 
to just rinse and then pour your excess in the bucket. Oh, I felt like a... <laughs> That's a big bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bucket I had. I, don't know. I was expecting. I was expecting like a little wine bucket, you know, like we just kind of swish Something it. classy, not the like $2 Harbor Freight yeah, bucket. Like a little swishing. <laughs> oh, oh, delicious. The notes on the back of the throat, you know, the tannins. Is what I'm like. Oh, the tannins. I feel like the pecan's in a similar realm to the peanut butter. Uh, maybe, yeah. but I... Like, I wonder if it's going to be a sweet, you know? Yeah. Like I, I feel like it'd be a good one to do next, because they're right. closer. Yeah, right. In theory. You don't want to go straight for the mint. Mint and peanut butter is just a Or the watermelon one. yet. <laughs> <laughs> peanut <laughs> butter mint. That mm. kind of sounds like orange juice and toothpaste a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Just about as good as peanut butter and watermelon, I imagine. <laughs> I can't imagine two worse <laughs> textures. To <laughs> really juicy watermelon and absolutely not juicy peanut butter. I don't know. I've heard some wild watermelon combos. Like apparently curried watermelon is a thing. Mm. So I don't know. I would have get like pineapple. In the yeah, curry? sure. So that sure I can see it. I don't know. Yeah. I do still feel like watermelon is a fruit of its own that uh, doesn't really work in the same way as apple or. I'll give you that. It's definitely, yeah, that'll be, that was the biggest question mark. Yeah. Other than the mint one. (laughs) (laughs) It's not a question mark. I feel like I know already. It's just going to be mouthwash. I know what that tastes like. Yeah. I'm I'm excited for this one, though. I think this is. I will be shocked if the mint one is something that I will return to. Sure. Yeah, I think my follow-up episode would be how to make use of the mint one. (laughs) It might be like cleaning a bumper. (laughs) Yeah, uh, taking the paint off of this beautiful table. Yeah, right, getting you. your friends to leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's what I have now. Yeah, and then they'll be like, uh, I'm good. I'm going to the for the night. So this is Revel Stoke Roasted Pecan Flavored Whiskey, and it's apparently imported from Canada. Ooh. Ooh. So okay. there's that. I don't. I think the company is Revel Stoke, but it I, it has a vibe of like it's a major company yeah. that's disguising it as like a small batch thing. Right. So I don't know. If you are small, I'm sorry. It's just what it kind of <laughs> looks like. All right. Let's just You're small. Let's just friggin' drink it. Yeah. Well, this is a big pour. Yeah. It's okay. Well, you're all gonna be here a while. <laughs> you know. I mean, hey. It's. To our northern friends? Yes. <laughs> it's the Great White North. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm trying to... It is pecan. It Undoubtedly. Yeah. yeah. But it's <laughs> very artificial. Yeah, unmistakable. It's like more pecan than whiskey, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It definitely tastes like I drank, um, like... Like artificial, uh, like vanilla or something, right? Except just pecan. It definitely like coats your mouth, not mm. like whiskey, but more like it's like a syrup. syrup. Yeah, yeah. Like it's I had say, pecan syrup in a cup that did have whiskey in it at one point <clears throat> earlier today. Like I imagine little, if this is what you went to like Starbucks and ordered a pecan drink, but yes. they forgot the coffee and just made right. it syrup. <laughs> just the syrup. <clears throat> okay, but that's a good point. If you just poured this in the coffee, it'd probably be really if good. If you pour this in coffee, that'd be delicious. I think this That's is a good. mixer. Yeah. I think the other one doesn't have the same mixing kit. Like, I don't think you'd want to mix the peanut butter with anything really, other than just going with the dessert and like putting it on a dessert. Yeah. But this one, I'm talking like you put that in coffee or even your hot chocolate. Oh, that could be really fun. Yeah. I'm a little worried about going from this to the watermelon now. I'm kind of like <laughs> thinking that maybe this might have been a big mistake. <laughs> uh, we can pour this out because I don't want to have more sugar in my mouth. It's, so it's sweet. very sweet. It is super yeah. sweet. <laughs> I it's gave sweeter than the peanut butter. It is. Yeah. Which I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting Because that peanut butter one was sweet enough. But let's be honest. I mean, they're probably making these flavors for people who ordinary whiskers are whiskers whiskeys yeah. are too bitter too strong and so like they want to kind of take that edge off like you were saying it doesn't taste right. like whiskey I won't lie on my way over here i was thinking like man it's just gonna be a bunch of footage of me like oh like making that <laughs> face um, <laughs> making the whiskey face the whiskey face yeah but right. all of these so, so far are what, what's the proof on these oh um, that's a great low? question this is 35 percent, so okay. that's pretty low yeah yeah it's not too bad Oh, let's let's see what the peanut butter one is. I'm curious. Uh, so that's same. 35 percent. They're the same. Okay, now we got to see all of them. Well, I'll just I'll make that a point when I bring it. Oh, 
All right, I'm gonna dump these for three spots. I see. There's no point in breaking that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know, maybe not. <laughs> when in Canada? No. Uh, <laughs> see, okay, I can see like. Sorry, guys. It's no good. Wouldn't recommend that. I would if you're gonna put it in something, but if, yeah. or if you don't like whiskey and you like yes. sweet drinks, yeah. that would be a good entrance that maybe it kind of wants, although it's so far from whiskey that, that I don't could, know if it counts as whiskey. That could be a really good, like like you said, with coffee or like a mixer with like some kind of like sweet dessert drink. I could see it being good there. But on its own, I have a hard time seeing where this would even for someone who doesn't like whiskey, I think it would be a shock to the system with how sweet it is. Yeah. Because yeah. that, that like, like, you would have a sip and you'd be like, okay, I'm kind of done because it's so sweet. You're making the sweet face, not the, yeah. the yeah. burning liquor thing. <laughs> right. You got to have it with, like, just more sweet things. So it's just like, this is pure, like, ice cream, basically. You know, like, if you had, like, whipped cream and then, like, a frothy, like, thingy. Honestly, just pour it over ice cream. That could be yeah. good. Cut out the middle, man. Just get rid of the cup. <laughs> Just there you go. Straight from the barrel. All right. It's time to go for the true enigma. Yeah, this is the most fascinating. This obscure flavor of the bunch. <clears throat> what do you think the pitch meeting for this was like? <laughs> uh, uh, guys, I've got an idea. Hear me out. <clears throat> My grandma's watermelon farm way overproduced this year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going palate cleanser because that pecan is sticking around. All right, I'll do that. Guys, I have 100 kilos of watermelon that I need to offer. That <laughs> I just throw it in with the whiskey. Can I throw it in my gold barrels or something? Mm. I think what would make this better is if it was like bright pink. You know, like watermelon pink. That'd be perfect. Oh, I give myself way too much. Yeah. <clears throat> right, there's nothing natural oh. about this. Let's throw oh, in some like okay. artificial coloring. Oh, do you smell that? Jolly Rancher watermelon? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Is that, is that a hint of <laughs> oh, wow, that's... corn syrup that I'm smelling? Okay, but there's also pecan in there for me. I didn't <laughs> rinse my glass well enough. Mm. <clears throat> I got a light. That is a hundred percent Jolly Rancher. Yeah. It's so watermelon. I can't imagine how this doesn't taste. Is this sweet. is this like a one time thing, or is this something they consistently put out? Yeah, did you get this on the shelf with like others behind it? Oh, so yeah, they have like with this like label with yeah. unique flavors. They've got like eight of them or something like that. Yeah. I'm, I just saw. So we have room for episode two, fellas. <laughs> uh, I, I just saw salty on the bottle again, and that made me a little bit more nervous than salty. I, yeah. yeah, I forgot. Yeah, about it the wasn't salty. like salted watermelon. It's salty watermelon. Salty. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a descriptor. We? Yeah. All right. Let's. Okay. Out of the last three, though. I think that's just because I like watermelon better than those <laughs> other two flavors. But I think that the artificial flavoring, it's like you can taste more whiskey. It's in not this. so pungent, yeah. It can definitely yeah. kind of mute itself in the background. It's still not that good. <laughs> Fair. The smell is so overwhelming. It, the like smell is so much stronger than the taste. Yes. Yeah. Like when you smell it, you expect to taste just the Jolly Rancher, but you are getting some of that like ethanol. Yeah. It, vibes from it, which is the other ones didn't have that at all. It smells like it should be pink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of okay, but it, yeah, it's really not good though. That second sip was like big mistake. Uh, yeah, I don't I feel like the sec the second sip was a little better. Like I'm I'm a little surprised. I thought it was going to be way way worse. It's not good, but not as bad as I was expecting. I can't imagine somebody drinking this and like not making a mistake later that night you know what i mean like i can't yeah, they've already started so <laughs> right? like start off with like this and it's like i'm ready to do anything well they've already begun the night with a mistake yeah, so right. might as well exactly. keep making more All right it's like the doors <laughs> open now yeah i'm gonna try the third sip and see see if it's less horrific i keep saying these things are bad i should clarify they're not good for like me I could totally see somebody who would be like, this is like primo. 
right? Like this is exactly the kind of flavor I want. I want watermelon. I want whiskey. I, so I, I think the last two, like the last two, I understand more because they're sweet whiskeys that are yeah. flavors that are compatible this is with like whiskey. A mishmash of two different people. Yeah, this and just like this. If you don't really love whiskey, but you kind of want to get into it, try the other two. Yeah, that's fine. And there's a time and a place for it for those people or for mixing it. I I get those right. on a fundamental level. This I do not get mentally. I mean, this makes no sense. They like they're mass producing it. So there must have been like a positive taste reaction, test. right? Like a taste test or a consumer like sort of you know. Okay, but did they give this to them on the like the last taste of the day <laughs> after they'd already had sixteen tastes? They're like, oh yeah. I love whiskey. Totally sloshed. Just <laughs> yeah, this is great. Watermelon. I don't know. I'm, I don't think it's that bad. The more I sip it, I feel like the the better it's getting. <laughs> Drink up. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> All right. On to the showstopper. Oh, the showstopper. The intense mint. Uh, you know, weirdly enough, now that we've gone through these three, I feel like the mint might actually be the best. <laughs> I don't know why. I've got a really strong feeling that it's going to be, like, not that bad. You feel like it's going to be, like, actually refreshing compared to the other two that you were like, yeah, no. Yeah. Unless you're like, oh, I've had that flavor before. The problem is that the pecan and the watermelon are so, like, cloyingly sweet. It's not like uh, just, you know... Yeah. Oh, it's got like a like a hint of sugar or a hint of something sweet. It's so so sweet. All right, so that's perfect. I kept feeling like I needed to clear my throat, but I didn't want to. It's okay because I'll literally <clears throat> just edit you out and it'll be fine. I'm sure this is gonna be choppy and people are gonna be weirded out. As long as you don't like kick the table and you're <coughs> <laughs> everything goes fine. Well, I didn't want to clear my throat while one of you are talking because then you can't cut it. True. Yeah. You're you're so thoughtful. Wow. Yeah. Look at you. You get an extra big pour of this. That's my <laughs> gift to you. Thank you. Thanks for being such a Thank good friend that. and coworker. I'm, I'm gonna hurt you now with this intense mint whiskey. Cold stuff. coworker. You, you guys are getting paid. <laughs> Just clarifying. The reward is the joy of having a horrible time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My, our agents got like <laughs> their wires crossed a little bit, but that's uh, cool. No worries. Nope. Well, that's we're scrapping fun. this whole video. Yeah, no. Uh, right. Cold spell. I don't like the name. Yeah. The right name, off the bat. I don't think that like the color blue should be on whiskey for some yeah. reason. Oh, especially there's like this, a whiskey this called, one. There's a whiskey called Tin Cup that has a blue label and it's wonderful. Yeah, but this is like a blue gradient with the words cold spell. And it just, it has, it's very intimidating. It feels like Buddy the Elf designed this package. <laughs> it does it have does. snowflakes on the back. Yeah. yeah. Like a cloud. I, I'm not going to do an insert shot of that, let's be honest. So, y'all look it up. I'll be fine. <laughs> so, anyways. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Easy. Let's not get overzealous. You know, I just can't. Oh, just I like how I give myself. Okay, but like now that it's out of the bottle, you can get... A little whiskey in there. It's not just mint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is straight up Listerine. Mm, well, the, it's the well, overtones. I just like Listerine. <laughs> <laughs> so all those days you've just been chugging Listerine in the oh, bathroom. Yeah. This is just right up your alley. Yeah, for sure. All right, right here we go. Down we go. That one was hard to swallow. My okay. body was rejecting it. This is mouthwash. Yeah, it's, it. it's literally... Okay, if you put this in a coffee, too. And you feel refreshed. Yeah. You could... This is... Oh, I see. This is a stealth drink. This oh. isn't meant to be like just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy some whiskey today. This is... I'm trying to drink at work. I don't want anybody to know. Oh, I just brush my teeth and then use mouthwash yeah. in and the bathroom. It's like, oh, my breath. Yeah. It's just mint. See? But meanwhile... I think you're, you're right. Sloshed in the coat, like the, you know... Teacher's lounge or whatever. <laughs> so this is like the ultimate bar pickup drink, right? You're oh like, yeah. Sip it on some whiskey. This all is night, a pure utility whiskey. Staying fresh. This is just yeah. a tool to be used. <laughs> right. This is not meant to do anything but get you drunk and also let nobody know. Yeah. And and maintain a certain amount of decorum. Yeah. Well, because they have that listerine that's like the this ish color that's like supposed to be like for plaque control or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> so have some of this before you go to bed. Then you don't have to brush your teeth. 
You can get a drink and go straight to bed. Well, that's how that works, but sure. Do not take that advice. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Okay, uh, well, hey. I want to try another sip, but I'm really Don't, don't, because I have a surprise for you guys. Oh. Just wait a minute. Is it... Could it be actually good whiskey? <laughs> Because you all were so kind to drink terrible whiskey with me, I have a bottle of single malt Glen Marangi <laughs> La Santa aged in cherry cast okay, for 12 years. So we should probably just get different cups. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to put this in the same cup. We can rinse. It'll be fine. Well, it's, you know, sterilized. It's not even <laughs> it's going to take one more sip. I'm going to regret it. Yeah. Uh, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. It's so bad. The second one's not as bad. Thank you, sir. Well, we're giving good pours on this stuff. Let's get this up. Because you're going to want to drink this. All right. Who do you think the tar- target audience of some of those previous whiskeys was? The mint one is definitely like a sleuth. Or somewhat like a, like a trick kind of guy. Like a guy who really doesn't want people to know what he's up to. Because that's not that's not whiskey is what that is. That's just, I think you could put any of them in coffee and have a good day. That, last that one, mint I'm one, sure. I don't think so. Have you ever had the caribou coffee peppermint mocha? No. I used to have that around Christmas all the time. Oh, I that sounds Chicago. delicious. I'm not trying to judge yeah. it. I just have never had that. It, it, honestly, if you put a dash in that, you can be like, oh, cool. My grandma makes this delicious like uh baileys sort of thing and she gives us like two whole bottles of it at christmas time it's the best time of the year because i'm getting <laughs> drunk every morning <laughs> all right let's try this this Tell is me. gonna be much better and if it's not then we have a very big problem uh, yeah it's like a blanket That's- you know we're back to reality. You can taste wood. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's like something that we were missing and all of that is like any of the like normal things that you look for in whiskey, yeah. they're delicious. It's a real earthy flavor. I think if you were to give me a glass <clears throat> of any of those besides maybe the peanut butter, I wouldn't be able to confidently say that they were whiskey. Yeah, definitely not. I don't Absolutely. A hundred percent agree with that. If I had the mint one, I would for sure I think somebody <laughs> just like swished and then spit in a glass and gave it to me maybe what i need to do is trick you guys next time and say we're trying a bunch of different kinds of liquor and they'll all be with i shouldn't I'm just telling you case. if yeah. i come if i come over and we're having a fire and i drink that mint whiskey <laughs> i will leave i would not do that to no. you. that is a fact i literally feel like i'm gonna save that for when one of my kids draws with marker on like the stove again and it won't come off <laughs> i'll try a little bit of that mint whiskey and <laughs> See what happens. Kids love mint, though. So they might be like, yeah, thanks, Dad. Now you have a full bottle of that watermelon. You cracked the seal for this. What are you going to do with that? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Full bottles of all. I think that'll be be an episode where I try and figure out how I'm going to use this stuff. Can you freeze it into ice cubes and use them like Jolly Ranchers? Just straight up Jolly Ranchers. Maybe I'll save them for when I have somebody that comes over that's like, what do you have to drink? I don't really like anything. No. I'll be like, oh, here's a really sweet pecan thing. Right. And do you like Jelly Ranch or watermelon? Yeah. And they might be like, oh, yeah. Just like mix like a lot of like some sort of thickening agent in the mint one and you just that toothpaste. Oh. Mm-hmm. You know? Or just use it as milk wash. Yeah, just kind of dip your And probably, in there. I need to go look up It'll what's the swirl. ABV on Listerine. It might just be... It's got to be, like, you're totally fine. All yeah. of these are bad ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's... just go get mint whiskey. You don't need toothpaste. So the pecan Pick one, teeth. you can put in coffee, put on ice cream. Like, you can do some de- fun dessert stuff with that one, and yeah. anyone would like it, even regular whiskey drinkers. But yeah. I think the watermelon and the mint one are the hardest to figure out how you're going to... The watermelon one is, like, drinkable. The mint, on the other hand, is not quite there. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't quite check all the boxes. Sorry, uh, who made that? Let's not worry Someone. about that. I'm sorry, whoever did that. We'll just blur out their name <laughs> and not mention you, them at all. You should stop. Is yeah. what it is. All right, well, hey, thank you for joining me on this weird adventure. Yeah. And uh, I know. 
We're going to enjoy some good whiskey, and we hope that you all make better purchasing decisions than I did outside of this bottle. This is a good one. Buy this one. All right. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> and that's where we cut. <laughs>